do a quick nose check to make sure I don't have any tissue stuck on my nose or my nose is going to start running. Mm -hmm. I think I'm okay. Hey, cute people. Yes, I'm doing another video. I have been trying to set this up for the last, well, a long time, but I think I'm doing okay. I have a light in front of me, which you can see in my glasses. I was trying to get that not to show, but if it shows, that's okay. I have a light on this side, which I think is doing okay. I could do better. Then I have a light on this side here, which I moved back a little further so you wouldn't see it in my glasses, so you can at least see my eyes. And I could do a lot better with that. But I'll play around with my little setup a little more next time, but I'm happy with the way it looks right now. So you know me, once I get started, I'm just gonna keep on going. Listen, I've been wanting to do this review for quite some time and I had not. I wanted to do this review while I was using the products, but I ended up um completely using the whole um product line up. But I kept the bottle because I still wanted to share this with you guys. Believe it or not, I have not watched one video one review video of this product so I don't know how people like it or not but I just want to tell you guys my experience with the product this is about the best jar I have here okay this one here container because the other one I'll show you but this here product the Carol's Daughter Procoxy Procoxy Nectar okay so I have the three products now I'm going to show you one by one because I am holding my handy dandy camera with my left hand. So this is what my second bottle looks like. Mm -hmm. And this is what the third bottle looks like. Jar. And after I wipe my nose, I'll tell you more about it. I don't know, now my nose wasn't running all day but why is it running now that I'm sitting here to do a video? I'm confused. Okay, I'm back. This product line here, I received an email from Sally. I saw in the advertisement that Mo Nose Hair was their spokesmodel. So I decided, ooh, I want to try it. I went to Sally's. They had a sale. Buy two Carol's Daughters products and you get one for free. So I figured, okay, it's something new. I never really jump on the new bandwagon right away, but I wanted to try this product because um, Mo no hair, Mo knows hair is a smoke smoke spot. Okay, so anyway, I brought the product and it's three. You know, you have the curl twisting custard. You have, of course, the leave in the wash and go leave in. Mm-hmm. Nasty. Ooh, sorry, y'all. And then you have the Style Control Gel. And I use these products till they were completely gone, as you can see. I'd have to say, first of all, I'm not going to keep this, this video very long because when I use the product, of course, I was looking for fantastic results because this is Carol's daughter, right? So I was looking for the best results ever. I don't know if it has to do with the fact that I'm getting older. And you know when you get older, your hair texture changes. It gets kind of wiry. But it didn't do anything for me. So if you are much younger than me and your hair is not um, old lady fine and it's not wiry, then this may be the product for you. But if your hair has been changing because of your age, this may not work for you. And if you use it, then let me know. As a matter of fact, I'm going to include a poll in this video. And um, I hope you take a moment to answer the poll because I'm just curious because, first of all, I mentioned in another video before that um, these hair care companies come up with all kinds of different um, oils and products. I don't know if they're just going into the jungles of Brazil, Africa, but they're just coming up with some of, oh, goodness gracious, it's, to me it's just crazy because, you know... I don't really like to jump on a bandwagon, especially when I see something new, but I just mentioned to you why I tried it. And I haven't tried many Carol's Daughters products, so hey, I figured I'd go ahead. As you can see, this product here has the Procoxy Oil in I ICI, Akai, ICI Extract. Now, you know, before today, I knew how to say that word, and now I can't, but it also has castor oil in it. 
I just want to say that it really didn't do anything for me, but I do believe it may be because of my hair. That's one reason why I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the review and I wanted to do the um, review while I was using the product. So I just started and just continue to use the washing, gold leaving, and the um, curling custard because I found those to be okay. But one thing I can tell you for sure, this stuff really, really smells very, very strong. If you do not like scent in anything in your hair, don't get this because I use this, and trust me when I tell you, I can smell it almost two days later in my hair. Um, it really, 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 really... You know how you smell something that's really strong and maybe if you haven't eaten, it's just like, it just gnaws at your stomach to the point you're like, oh my gosh, that scent just has got to go away. That's what this stuff smells like. It has a really strong scent. I wouldn't even buy it as a perfume. There's some things that I have tried, like the scent, we'll buy it as a perfume, but this, no way. And it says here that it is for waves and coils. So this is what the bottle now looks like because... I use it an awful lot. Like I said, um, it really didn't do much for me. But as far as I'd have to say leaving my hair moisturized, I can say it did that. I can't say it enhances my style definition. And I really didn't check for frizz too much because I don't care about frizz much. But this one here, instead of having cast oil, this product here has shea butter in it. And as you can see, I use this up completely. So if I use it completely, that means I like it. And like I said, these two products I did like enough, but I wouldn't purchase them only because I can get something a cheaper that does the same exact thing. I can um, get something that does not smell as much as these do, <laughs> and they'll be cheaper and do the same exact thing. Now let's talk about this style control gel here, right? Here it has touchable hole. Now one thing I can say, the hole was touchable. No crunch, not hard, and I like that. But after, for me, I'm going to say right now after the second day, yeah, I, yeah, white flakes. I really did not care for that at all. I think um, if I'm going to get flakes with a product, which I don't want, of course, then maybe after the fourth or fifth day, like two or three days before I'm going to wash my hair, but not after I wash, because I usually would use this right after I wash my hair, and then I would want to wear a washing go. But like I said, I think it's because my hair is wiry and it's changing. I'm becoming a mature lady. Yeah. As a matter of fact, one day, I don't know when, because I remember I did a video and I mentioned I was going to do a review of these products right here. At that time, I still had some left in the jar, but because I said it, I had to do it. But you know, the one thing, like I said, is Carol's daughter, born in Brooklyn, like me, Mo no hairs, she likes it. Well, she really didn't say much about it because remember I saw it in the advertisement. It was just a picture of her. Um, in the advertisement. That's all it was. And like I said, I haven't seen any videos of the product, so I really don't know how anybody ever or, or how anyone likes it. This product here says it adds shine and moisture. Like I said, as far as moisture, the products were fine. I could, I could dig with that because you know Carol's daughter is definitely going to give us the best that um, they can offer as far as um, ingredients with that. But it's the smell. The price point I don't care for because I wasn't in love with it. And you can get these products at Sally and, of course, on the website. If they had a shampoo, I probably would try it. But um, try it, yeah. And see, my whole thing is that I am um, a product junkie. So I don't stay with many, many things um, twice. I try it. I like it. Um, and then I'm on to the next product. Because even here in North Carolina, I have some stuff in my stash. Um, I'm trying so hard not to grow a bigger stash. I haven't ordered anything in a, in a while, and I don't plan on it. And when I get my stuff from New York, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have, oh, I can't wait to get my stuff. I miss my hair products and my stuff. I miss my stuff. But anyway, so like I mentioned, would I buy this product? No, I would not. Did I enjoy it? 
just the wash and leave, the wash and go leave in, and the um, style and custard. They were not anything that I had to, um, that I have to have, but I definitely wouldn't purchase this. Yeah, helps prevent fizz. But you know what I'm going to do, um, because I don't think I have a gel. I don't think I do. So I'm going to use this like um, maybe a day or two before my wash day. And then I'll continue to use it. I don't remember this. Let me see. Did this have the same type of smell as the other products? Yeah. You know what this, this smell makes me think of? When I was a little girl, like you'd be around an old lady who wore makeup. It, it, I, I guess maybe at that time, all makeup smelled the same. That's what this smells like to me. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but that's what this smells like to me. So this is not something that I would purchase again. I was really disappointed, but this was like the first product I tried after I noticed my hair started changing. So I don't know if that means for me, no such thing as um, Twist House because my hair looks like a big old bush. Like in the front, I can get some definition from a twist out. But the rest of my hair, not really. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get something that is tried and true, something I really like. And then I'm going to um, try to do a twist out and see how my hair comes out. Would you believe that as long as I've been natural, I have never, never done a twist, a flat twist, or never done a braid out? Mm -hmm. I did a band too, not since I've been down here. It was disaster. It was disaster. So I'm going to try it. But I just wanted to talk briefly about the products. Like I said, um, it's not um, an in-depth um, video like some people would do because, like I said, I didn't really get to enjoy the product because I believe the texture of my hair being that it's changing, yeah, it just didn't work for me. But I... Just want to know if you guys have used it. If you have, please leave me something in the um, box below. Just to let me know that you tried it, you liked it, and what's going on with it. Now, most times, if I don't forget, I will share with you guys what's on my lips. Because a lot of times, people want to know. I know I watch videos, and I've seen someone with some nice lip color. And I'm like, what do you got on your lips? I don't remember. I don't know. Okay, but I don't mind sharing because... If you wear something I want to know about, I want you to tell me what it is. Don't tell me, I, oh, I, girl, I don't know. <laughs> My father bought it for me. My dog picked it up when it dropped off the truck. Okay, now this is a MAC lipstick, lip, lipstick and it is fixed on drama. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. It's really, really pretty. Um, let me see if I can swatch it for you. Remember now, I'm holding my camera. Now see, even though I have the cheap girls set up, and it's getting a little better, I hope anyway, it's still the cheap girls set up, so don't expect a whole lot. Okay, I think I got it. This is what it looks like swatched. If I put it towards the light, if I put it away from the light, look at this. It's a really, really pretty color, and I noticed that all I do is go for this color here, but I just wanted to share with you guys and also, also give you um, some information about the um, Carol's Daughter Procoxy, Procoxy Nectar. Styling by nature, y'all. Yeah. So listen, I'm going to end this video because it's Saturday night, and... Um, I'm not sure what I can get into, but I'm going to try to get into something. So I just want to let you guys know. As a matter of fact, I got some sushi I'm going to get into. Y'all, sushi. But I want to thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video. Hopefully, I can get something out to you sooner. And I want to say to Nunu, the hair diva, and I hope she gets this far in the video. I don't know if she did or not. But um, I would really like to do some looks. I don't always want to continue to whole cosmetics and then I don't do any looks but I don't know how I'm going to do that unless I do it during the day during the day I'm so busy but I've done a few makeup looks because to me they're not tutorials because I can't teach a person a darn thing about how to put on makeup but um I just gotta get a good setup so that I can do that here because Putting on makeup is fun. It's getting hard for me now. Maybe not for you, but for me it is. But anyway, listen, I got to go. I just want to say thank you for stopping by and watching this video. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next 
and do nothing but share and spread love.